Before starting the concept of cell balancing, let us first understand what actually is cell balancing. When you group together several cells to power a device or anything you need to do is balancing. The reason being as battery pack is going through its life cycle, the cells usually don't get discharged or charged at the same rate. Imbalance is caused by anything that can make one cell's SOC that is state of charge diverge from other. There are several reasons behind it. Unfortunately, we don't live in a perfect world. So there will be some differences in the cells and temperature difference between cells also play a role in unbalancing of cells. Thus battery pack naturally evolves towards imbalanced condition. This imbalanced state of cells may lead to damage, overcharging and cell getting undercharged lead to degradation of cell life and ultimately getting damaged beyond repair. This raises the need of cell balancing. So cell balancing is a process which changes the amount of charge capacity from one cell so as to make charge distribution in more uniform manner among the cells. This is done with the help of BMS battery management system. BMS basically has two tasks which are estimation task and second is the control task. For now we will discuss about the control task. BMS generally uses two approaches for battery balancing. First is passive balancing and second is the active balancing. Now passive balancing drains charge from cells having more charge than others and dissipate it through energy as heat. This is done by passing the current through high resistance circuits. The primary advantage of balancing battery passively is the simplicity and cost effectiveness of the circuit. Drawback of this type of balancing is such that the energy wasted can't be utilized in a productive manner. If we want to balance the battery at a faster rate, this will lead to more heat generation, resulting in overall heating of the battery pack. This leads to the increased cooling requirements which is of significant expense. Active Balancing Active balancing moves charge from cells having more charge to cells having less charge. Basically moving charge from high potential to low potential and balancing out the circuit. There are three methods for active balancing of the battery pack. First is by using capacitor based circuits. Second is by using transformer based circuits. Third is by using shared burst active balancing method. Summing up of these three methods, the best and the most used is shared burst active balancing method which is also cost effective. Capacitor based circuits are slow and thus ineffective. Transformer based circuits are better than capacitive but they tend to be heavy and expensive. The main advantage of active balancing over passive balancing is it helps to conserve the energy of the battery pack and ultimately reducing the cost which is determining factor in many cases. Now the cell balancing is controlled by unit called BMS battery management system 